Welcome to Kempo University. My name is Al Babinick and I'm your instructor. The definition for switching is changing sides, facing your opponent without losing or gaining ground. So if I was in a neutral bow, I'm facing this way to start with. So when I do a switch, if I did a back to front switch, it's changing sides. I'm still facing my opponent, that's you, okay, and I didn't gain or lose ground. I didn't come closer to you and I didn't get further from you. So the definition for switching is changing sides, facing your opponent without losing or gaining ground. All right, there are four types of switches, okay? So there's back to front, front to back, vertical hop switch and horizontal hop switch. And usually when you say the uh, a hop switch, you're usually talking about the vertical one, but there is a horizontal one and it's in the system. We'll talk about it when we get there. I'm gonna use my line here. So I've got my neutral bow. I don't care about the hands. I'm just worried about the feet. So a back to front switch is taking your back foot and bringing it up to your front foot, okay? So a lot of people get confused on, oh, I'm going backwards first. No, when you say back to front, front to back, you're talking about the foot that you're moving. So back to front switch, I wanna do it in two moves. I don't wanna do it in five moves or six moves. So when my back foot comes up, it's gonna go pigeon toed with my front foot and then I step back, boom. My here, I, I'm in my neutral bow again. So when you come up, you can't go. So I'll do, I'll do it right one more time. So back to front switch, my back foot comes up, pigeon toed and back, two moves, up and back, done. What a lot of people do is they'll come up, they'll put their foot like this, then they'll step back, then they settle over here, then they wobble this foot here, and then they get their hands in place, and you're doing four or five moves to do a back to front switch, all right? But, so you have to bring your toes up into that V formation or the pigeon toed formation. Now. If you do it slow, it feels terrible, okay? It really does, it feels bad. So, but if I was here, as I step up, as my toe hits the ground, as my toe hits, my body's already turning and stepping back into my neutral bow. So if I actually came up and I'm standing like that, that feels terrible. So you don't stay there. Step up, step back, done, okay? So that was a back to front. So your back foot comes to your front foot, now let's do a front to back switch and it's just the opposite. So instead of having my toes pointed in, now I want them pointed out in a V formation. So front to back switch, I take my front foot, I pull it back and I do that. And then I come up, boom, right back in my neutral bow, two moves. So again, you don't want to do all that extra stuff in there. So you step back, heel to heel, step up. And again, if I did it quick, I'm just doing it right like that. So I don't want to go, I don't want to stay standing like this. That's terrible, right? So there's your front to back and your back to front. So we're doing one and then the other. Move this and then move that. Move this and then move that. Well, when we do the vertical hop switch, which is the one everybody's kind of uh, used to. So if I'm in my neutral bow, if I did a vertical hop switch, now remember, no gaining or losing ground. So I shouldn't be moving forward. I shouldn't be moving backwards. I have little uh, pieces of tape on my studio every place for people that you, uh, so people could use for their feet. So if I was up on a dot, I'd make sure that it's right there so that when I do my, hop, my vertical hop switch and I don't want to jump up, it just, that's all I want to do. So my feet come up, I'm right back on my line. So I move, I should hear my feet as they swish along the floor as I do this. So I don't want to ha, <laughs> and do a, a, vertic or a vertical hop switch like that. So that gets rid of the and then. So it's not one and then two. This is one move. I'm turned. Okay. The problem is you have no base, right? For that, for that amount of time that you're in the air, not that you had a very good one before, but you have zero base because you're, you just do that jump. Uh, and then we have, so that's the vertical hop switch. And then we have the horizontal hop switch. Now the horizontal hop switch is in the system. 
It's an encounter with danger up in Greenbelt. Uh, there's a reason we do it there. Uh, except for working with Mr. Planis, I've never seen anybody else ever do the horizontal hop switch, just to let you know. So I learned it from Mr. Planis, uh, and I didn't, I didn't know it was supposed to be in there either. So if you're, if you're saying, Al, hey, there's no horizontal hop switch in, in kind of a danger. I know, okay? You never read it any place, but uh, that, it's gotta be in the system. If we're doing a vertical, category completion says we have to have a horizontal, and this is where it's at. So, in kind of a danger, I'm doing my backward break while somebody pushed me, I fall down, oh no. So, I do my fall. As I roll to my side and I get my kick, I'm gonna turn a little bit. I pull my elbow all the way into my body. So it's as close to my center of gravity as I could get. This hand's gonna push down as hard as I can, and I'm gonna push up with my leg as hard as I can. So, if I was back in position, there's your horizontal hop switch with the kick. What that does, I'm getting up. <laughs> what that does is it keeps you in front of your attacker. So the guy that was coming in for encounter with danger, he came in, he's pushing you down. You fall down, he's coming in to get you right along this line, right? If you do a backward break fall, I'm gonna do it up against the wall. If I did a backward break fall, and the guy was coming straight at me this way. If I roll to my side, his center line is behind me over here. So do you see where the center line would be? He's coming at me right here. So if, from my backward break fall, if I just do my kick and then I roll to the side, you can see that my roundhouse kick is actually gonna have to be behind me. You don't do roundhouse kicks behind you. You do roundhouse kicks in front of you, right? So, if you just roll, you're actually kicking behind yourself a little bit, all right? Uh, and that's the reason. If I did the hop switch, when I'm here and I do my kick, when I hop, I'm just doing a normal roundhouse kick to the guy's head. So, the horizontal hop switch in Encounter with Danger keeps you centered to the guy, and you're kicking at the right angle for what you're doing, for, the atta or for uh, your attack, all right? If you roll off, then you're actually gonna be kicking behind yourself a little bit. Um, that's why it's in there. So, but that's the horizontal hop switch, and it's in Encounter with Danger. Thank you for watching this video production from Kempo University.